And let us discuss about the defects in myelination as uh, we discussed in our previous lecture what are the myelination and uh, how they conduct nerve impulse so let us begin the two pathological conditions um, uh, which are uh, arises due to the uh, defect in myelination so if this defect in myelination is occurred in peripheral nervous system and if it occurs in central nervous system if this pathology uh, or the pathological condition is occurred in peripheral nervous system then it is called as guillain barre syndrome guillain barre syndrome barre syndrome and if this uh, pathological condition is occurred in a central nervous system then it is called as multiple sclerosis multiple sclerosis sclerosis mean hardening so hardening of neuron is mean that its conductivity uh, process of conduction become uh, decreased and it is uh, stiff to the um, conduction system impulses so for example so made here a neuron and this is the axon transfer section both in central nervous system and in peripheral nervous system and this is covered with myelinated sheath if this myelination is degenerated due to any disease it is the neuron uh, which is covered by a covered by myelin sheath and this is the neuron axon and leads so in this neuron what happened as we, as we discussed that the electrical impulse move in this fashion node of Ranvier to node of Ranvier and and the conduction is called a saltatory conduction and this conduction is fast and due to any physiological defect these neurons the myelination generally degenerated and it degenerate starts to degenerating so what will happen the conduction becomes slowed down now they are the channels are here work and potassium sodium they will in and out and the conduction becomes slowed down like this in this fashion the conduction start so the defect leads to slow in conduction the neuron becomes slow in conduction and if this occur in central nervous system then the person become uh, uh, unable uh, to respond uh, rapidly so their responding power become low down and maybe if this neuron is conducting the message for the movement of the muscles and the for the movement of the body then what happen then the movement of a specific portion of the body uh, which are provided and by the myelinated neurons they become low down and the coordination system become uh, slow down and they are not uh, work uh, with a fast fashion so this is the defect 
so if uh, uh, the uh, neurons that is the pain receptors that is fast pain receptors pain uh, receptors that is the fast uh, pain receptors here and there is alpha alpha neurons if if they are become uh, unmyelinated uh, so they are senseless uh, become uh, senseless to feel the pain and they will not uh, conduct the pain rapidly to the uh, central nervous system and this uh, may be uh, causes the damage of the tissues for example if uh, your hand is uh, cut by something or uh, it is touch it touch to the heart or rot and these neurons which are myelinated in the beginning uh, they the pain there they feel the pain and they become unmyelinated so they uh, become uh, senseless to feel the pain and the burning uh, burning causes uh, that is the hot rod will damage your tissues uh, more uh, because uh, our neurons uh, does not <laughs> do not work uh, well due to this myelination so myelination is very very important and very necessary for the proper conduction of the impulses to the central nervous system and from the central nervous system so if the defect is caused here in the peripheral nervous system it, uh, it is called as Golenberry syndrome and it is in the central nervous system then uh, it will cause uh, called as multiple sclerosis so hold this thing about the myelination and unmyelination it's not so difficult hope you understand